it's Terhi here again uh, with another Create a Smile layout, this time with one of my favorite background techniques with mists and water. Uh, I'm starting with a gessoed white cardboard and water, just flicking water to the place I want the colors to be. And once I'm, uh, I have added water, I'm adding some mists. As you see, the color would spread and blend around the page, and this is something I really enjoy. You can actually do this same technique with uh, paint or watercolors, but I prefer mist because they are so easy to use for this. Uh, another tip from me is to keep it, um, or let it dry naturally. It will create a not, uh, different kind of pattern to these drops and splashes than when using a heat gun. Uh, I can continue this flag forever, but now I'm just adding some, some darker areas and then I'm going to let it dry naturally over a night. As you see, the um, drying time uh, spreads the colors a lot, so small is small amount are better while doing. Uh, now I'm using Make a Wish stamp set from Create a Smile. I'm stamping with a big word and then with Dreams word to create some details on the background. I'm using uh, archival ink, so it doesn't mix with any wet mediums. It sticks where I want it to be. The next phase is to add modeling paste through a stencil, and I'm using Basil stencil from Create a Smile. I'm doing a thin layer with a white modeling paste just to create some texture, and I don't want it to be too visible because I want the screen to pop out a lot, but it creates a nice texture and gives a special details to this layout. Create a Smile has a large um, store of chipboards on their store, and I'm using one of the newest um, chipboards. These are uh, thin squares. I don't remember what the grill name is, but there isn't any other square shaped chipboards. I'm painting them with a 30 knots metallic turquoise paint, uh, just a thin layer to make them more green or turquoise, and then I'm gluing them, them on Create a Smile sending sunshine paper. I let the uh, glue to dry, and then I'm using a craft knife to cut them up. Uh, this is something I really doesn't, <laughs> I really don't like because these fuzzy cutting things aren't for me. But I cut them out, and then they are great embellishments for my layout. As with the chipboards, um, I used sending sunshine papers with my paper cluster. I cut some scraps and then just created some some kind of layers and. Uh, paper cluster, and now I'm adding it with double-sided tape onto my layout. Uh, I'm using glue to add these these squares I did before, and just randomly add them here and there between the layers and on the layers. And and one thing I really like you to know is that. When using a lot of pattern net papers, it's nice to add something peaceful or calmful behind the photo. That's why I'm adding this large piece of paper on top of my paper layers to add even one more paper layer and then, then the photograph. It kind of calms it down because now the photo got some frames behind it. I'm cutting a sticker to be my title and few papers behind it. and. I'm using Stamper's big brush pen or something like that to add black lines around the title. Some pre uh, thread 
behind it and gluing the title to the place I want it to be. Before the layout is totally finished, I'm adding some hand-drawn stars and circles here and there, just to make, make a uh, handmade look and some special details. I'm also adding some black mists and turquoise mists to continue to black for to continue to black line of those black stamped words. So that was it. It was fun and I'm really grateful for you that you watched this. So thank you and we'll see you again soon. Bye!